Thank you so much, you all guys, because because of you, this channel has been leading the creator of the month competition these last uh, few months. And I, I got the chance to uh, get the Ultima RS fully upgraded in order to show you guys how good actually is in multiplayer. So with nothing else to add, let's get into it. But the thing here guys is that the Ultima RS will be my last fully upgraded card as a prize from being the creator of the month because Gameloft decided that these kind of rewards like giving uh, the creator of the month a fully upgraded card was like too much and I kinda understand that because a fully upgraded card is a really 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 good prize and well I'm so thankful for having the chance to get a few fully upgraded cards from being the creator of the month in order to make multiplayer tests for you guys in order to make content and that stuff despite sometimes the the cards weren't that good like for example the Aston Martin Valkyrie which is a decent card but is far from being an excellent competitor not like the Ultima RS which actually is a really really good competitor and I'm so happy that if this is the last card we are about to get from festivals at least it's a fairly decent festival so I can regret going getting this card fully upgraded I have to say that and this now focusing on the Ultima RS this car has a really good acceleration as we could see on the comparison against the Lamborghini Centenario. The nitro duration is fairly good, I mean it's not bad or something like that, it's not mediocre, it's actually good. If you get the chance to test this car fully upgraded, you will realize that the nitro duration is actually not bad or something like that. So overall it's a fairly good competitor as I said and also with an excellent handling but most important, in my opinion this car has a fairly decent speed recovery which actually makes this car fairly competitive also in that in that matter because some cars like the Pagani Era Air or the Aston Martin Valkyrie had a mediocre stats overall despite of having a really high rank that cars were quite useless but not this one because this one has a really good uh, speed recovery a fairly decent acceleration and excellent handling because it's so smooth as you can see on these corners the drift radius is more than enough to take them all with no further issue and well overall this car is a pleasure to drive i have no regrets driving it and i have been testing it for quite a while since i got it because i wanted to make the best test i could and of course before even recording these races I tried to practice as much as I could but well you need a, a few a few races in order to dominate this this beast because this car is, feels absolutely different from the Lamborghini Centenario or any other top class S car. So from my personal perspective I actually think that if you are going for this car you are not wasting your money at all and if you are thinking about going for this car in the future you won't be wasting your resources neither because this this car is actually a fairly good competitor and has a really strong performance that can match with no problem the top class skin if you dare to dominate this beast so overall if you are going for this you are on the right way of getting such a decent car in my honest opinion of course uh, this is the last festival car so we don't know what may come right after this one maybe the venom f5 comes with the new update and is the ultimate king who knows but for now this is the last festival car the ultima rs and maybe in the future something better may uh, may appear but for now this car is actually quite decent most like uh, many other competitors as we have on the class s this is the right point of the video to release all the hype I have regarding update 53, the update that finally will remove festivals on the way we know them from the game, which is actually a really really good news I have been waiting for so long because I have I am extremely insanely tired of the current model of festivals seriously guys if this change of endless festival would have uh, continued I would have uh, quit in a couple of months or something like that but no seems like update 53 will end this change of festival this three year long change of festivals and will bring new ways of obtaining the new cars so i can't wait to get more information about this to share with you guys 
to know how we are about to get the new festivals right after the update. So let me know your thoughts regarding the Ultima RS in the comment section. L share with me, guys, your hype regarding the update 53, and I will see you really soon with much more Asphalt 8. Take care and see you soon. Goodbye, guys. Thank you.